All right, YouTube, we are finally done on installing the aftermarket leaf springs on the Nissan Titan. If you saw my other video, you would see uh, the process, or I explained to you what you had to do to uh, remove the leaf springs and then add the aftermarket leaf springs to it, the add a leaf kits. But um, yeah, I mean, this this is the side that I did and then this is the other side that I had to finish up I just gotta put on the the u-bolts and bolt it down and that's it um, the leaf springs are supposed to give you give uh, about two and a half inches of lift and I couldn't use the no four inch blocks like I said in the video because the Shocks weren't long enough and they were fully extended, but I had the twinch block as, as you can see there. Um, but yeah, it took me like two weeks because I had other stuff going on. But like, you could probably knock it out in a couple of hours. But it's, uh, it's not that difficult as long as you know what you're doing. If you have no clue what you're doing, then again, it's just going to be very hard for you. It's going to be rough. But like I said, once uh, I put the other U-bolts on it and bolt it down, I'm going to test drive it, see how it, how it feels. And hopefully I'll get this, this frame knocked out next so I can put the bed back on. But uh, I will put in the link in the description of where I got these leaf springs at. And, uh, but yeah, that is it for this truck. As far as the rear suspension, um, I'm going to get the longer uh, shocks and then just swap out the, the block for the 4 inch. But for now, I'll just keep it like this. But again, uh, not difficult to do. But, uh, yeah. This should be, or I may do another videos on the rear suspension on my truck. But as far as that goes, this, that is it. So, uh, if you're just watching this video for the first time and you have no idea what I'm talking about, just go to my channel and you'll see the other video that I that I did. But yeah, alright man, alright you too. Hope y'all yeah, enjoy. All right, man.